Hey boss, I was just coming in because I'm a little bit confused about the assignment and exactly what I need to be doing. I just thought maybe we could get things clarified. Jim, what are you doing in here? You don't have an appointment. What do you mean you don't know what you're doing? Of course you know what you're doing. That's what I pay you for. Get out of here. Hey boss, I was just coming in because I'm a little bit confused about the assignment and exactly what I need to be doing. I just thought maybe we could get things clarified. Jim, great to see you, man. What do you mean you don't know what you're doing? You always know what you're doing. You're my best employee. You're the terrific guy on the team. I have such faith in you. You can do anything and everything you please. So go on out there and do it. Hey boss, I was just coming in because I'm a little bit confused about the assignment and exactly what I need to be doing. I just thought maybe we could get things clarified. Hi Jim! Wow! I am so glad to see you. I haven't seen you all day. You always perk up the day for me and I just enjoy your company so much. Now I know you don't think you can do it, but come on. You're a great guy. I'm sure you're going to be able to do it. This is, this is such fun working on this team, don't you think? I just love it. There's different styles of leadership and sometimes based on a person's strengths, sometimes they come in and think that they can just be either really, really happy, really, really motivating and motivating, or some are just really, really mean. <laughs> what is the best way to actually deal with someone that comes in that needs help? First of all, let's remember we're talking about the wacky workplace. Yeah, gotcha. And we've kind of exaggerated a little, but I don't know about you. you. <laughs> I've had those managers. Yes. The one who just doesn't have time, who just gives you grief, who makes you always feel bad when you walk out. Mm -hmm. You're mad and sad all at once. Yep. Then you have the cheerleader type. Yes. Just like Batman there, who was trying to build the person up, but there's no, there's no content. And then finally, then there's that boss, and I've had these bosses too, always chirpy and cheerful, sharing a joke, trying to be real human, but they still don't give you what you need. See, none of those content. three wacky bosses gave the poor employee what he needed. Gotcha. And so the key is, when the person comes in and they need help, to sit down and begin the dialogue. Find out what's really going on. What's, what barrier are they running into? What is it they can't figure out for themselves? What do they need from you as a great leader, as a great coach? Be yourself, but get the ego and the feelings and the emotions and all of that out of the mix. Yep. Hey boss, I was just coming in because I'm a little bit confused about the assignment and exactly what I need to be doing and uh, I just thought maybe we could get things clarified. Hi Jim, come on in. Have a seat. Thanks boss. Yeah, I'm just a little confused about where we need to go, what our direction is, what the timeline is, and I thought maybe you could clarify all of those things for me. Well, sure. Let's kind of start at the beginning. We've got the initial plan for the project. So where are you getting off track? Were you able to speak to Bill over in the accounting department about this stuff? Yeah, I talked to him, but I think there's a disconnect between me and Bill, and mm. I don't really know to, how to handle the disconnect between both of us. Oh, well that may be a good place to start. Let's think about what we want to get from Bill, and maybe I can help smooth the way, maybe I'll give him a call. Okay, yeah, maybe that could work. Maybe after you give me a call, we could try and uh, have a meeting together, and maybe that could clarify things oh. even better. Definitely. It hits you by surprise. Right between the eyes, you're in the wacky, wacky workplace. Think that works a bore? Don't think that thought no more. You're in the wacky, wacky workplace. You think that work is normal, button down and formal. You think you got it down? Just take a look around, you make me I am being tacky when I say you're in a wacky, wacky workplace.